Hey, we're going to show you how to create a custom image um, for Coder, and this is all going to run inside of Red Hat OpenShift, which you can see on the screen on the left side. There's my Coder, my Coder control plane, the bottom center, Postgres, which is our back end database, and I have a single workspace running here. I flick over to the Coder UI. Um, you'll see I have a workspace running, which is the same one I just showed you on the previous screen. So what I want to do is I want to change the image tag um, that's that's actually being used. So this is a Java image that has installed a JetBrains IDE, and I want to change that version of the IDE. So if I go into the template, we can start and show you what I will be changing. You'll see that the current uh, image is pointing to JetBrains uh, in IntelliJ Ultimate 2022.1.4. I want to change this to 2021.3.3. So we have to build our image. So if we go back into OpenShift, let's go into the project. So you'll see I basically created a project or which is also a namespace in that cluster called demo. And I need to get my um, OpenShift uh, UID range, which is right here, because I'll need to do that to build the image. And I need to build a, um, <clears throat> if I click over to the image stream, I have to have an image stream, which I already have one built called IU change owner. And you'll see there's the name of the repo for this image. And I'm going to create a new tag. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to build a, I'm going to create a tweak to my build config. So I have a build config for this image. I'm going to go into the YAML and I'm going to tweak this. I'm going to change the name here and call the tag 2021 3.3 and change it down here. So this is on my Docker hub. That's where I'll be pulling this image from to build the custom image. And then you'll see I'm going to basically delete the coder user and I'm going to recreate it and I'm going to put the uh, UID and also the group ID and I'll change it back to the coder user. So let's hit save. Um, just pop over to Docker Hub here. <clears throat> I'll just show you this is the image that'll be pulled that'll be used as the basis for this custom image and I'm going to start the build. So if we go into the logs, we should see this occur. I'm going to go and pause to let it finish. Okay, it's finished the custom image build. Um, you can see at the bottom, this is the logs of what occurred. You'll see the steps that I had laid out in the build config. <clears throat> if I click back to the uh, image stream, you'll now see it has a new row for that new tag value. So now that we've done this, we need to update the coder template. So I have local VS code on my machine and I have my template and I'm going to change the um, base image that I'm gonna use in this template. We're doing JetBrains IntelliJ Ultimate. I'll just comment out the old one. And with a quick change here, change this to 2021, 3.3. You'll see that this value is being in, inserted down in the pod spec at the bottom. <clears throat> under the container. This is how it knows to build this image. And we should be good to go. So with that, I'm gonna push the new um, value or the new template. So I'm gonna do coder. And I'm gonna push the new template. You'll see it run Terraform plan and then upload the main.tiff file and also the readme markdown file. <clears throat> you will notice now in the coder UI that it says that the coder template has changed. If I go in there, I can update that. This will rebuild the workspace. I'll go down to the logs to see it create a new pod. Okay, looks like the workspace rebuilt. Go back to the main screen and you'll see it did. And I'm gonna open up 
JetBrains IntelliJ Ultimate. In this case, I'm using their open source project, which is called Projector. And I'm now in there. If I click on About, it should show you that I'm now on a different version of IntelliJ. I go back on the left side here, I can run cube, cube cuddle get pods. You'll see the pod for this JetBrains workspace is running. This one right here. And if I go back into the main screen of, open, of uh, OpenShift, you'll see the pod running. 